So we're on the camping trip and we brought some of our friends with us. Well, friends of friends of friends of friends. About 30 of us. And this is what, this is where we're camping. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm just gonna live my life. Like, my name's Coleman, and this is my life. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. got today just gonna eat breakfast kind of clean up a little bit and then eat lunch and then we're gonna go to this lady's house um, in the mountains and we're gonna have dinner at her house and then some of us are also gonna hike over at her house so, yeah. And as you can see here, they have a bunch of free range chickens. I'm pretty sure we ate the uh, the older ones, <laughs> but but hey, uh, yeah, they're really cute. And these these uh, country folks here in China, uh, they really don't know how much of a blessed lifestyle they have. Because um, to me, living in the city is just uh, you can get very distracted and you miss the good things in life. And as well as free range chickens, they also had lambs, goats, or whatever you want to call them. And I actually wanted to catch one because I do love me some lamb skewers. Mm, mm, mm. Old style Chinese houses. So basically it's just made with stone around here and mud, mud and straw that that's where they would sleep and they would usually put fire underneath to keep them warm in the winter it smells really good in here but i think right now this is where they just store stuff my friend he was born in 1983 and he said that he grew up in a house like this Yeah, when I first came to China, this is what I felt China was like. This is really cool. And it's just crazy how like 10 years difference. And he like, his life is completely different than mine. It's just really interesting to think that just 10 years apart, his life was drastically different than mine and he his living circumstances was drastically different than mine uh, but yeah it just makes me blessed for the childhood that I have and uh, it makes me grateful for the country that I grew up in <laughs> and then here uh, you can see them cooking fish this is how like in the old the old old days they used to uh, fry like cook their food basically 
And oh. yeah, I just thought it was interesting. Ooh. It's li-hai, something li-hai, I've never li-hai. seen done before. And if you come to China to visit, you're <laughs> most likely not going to see it because uh, you'll probably be doing all the tourist stuff. <laughs> 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 And here, uh, after we ate, we had a great dinner, and then some of us just gathered around the campfire, and we started singing worship songs, and then we ended the night. And then day two, we went to go hike before we went back to Beijing, and while we are there at the hiking spot, we saw this guy making popcorn on the side of the road, and to me, Chinese popcorn is super interesting to watch them do it. So basically, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to film it because I really wanted to film him actually exploding the popcorn. But basically, they put all the kernels in this metal container and they seal it and it's like pressurized. They heat it up until it's like super hot to like some certain PSI or whatever. And then they put this bag over it. And then yeah. Chinese pop- they hit it with a stick and then it explodes and all the, pop- all the pop- popcorn just goes out into the, into the bag. So, and then you can eat it. it tastes amazing. <laughs> Helper.